Next up on WTV, UIL Orchestra, today's installment of 14 Days of Love, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, February 5th, and I'm Cooper Regal with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. With the second semester underway, the administration is already preparing for next school year, which will include two new courses being added for students to take. WTV's Bryn Sulakis has the details. With the variety of electives students are able to take, two new classes, the first one, PALS, is a student-led campus culture-focused class. It is going to be a combination of the PALS programming, which is a nationwide program, and the Pulse Club, which already exists on campus and benefits campus culture through some social-emotional learning. We know that students are very passionate about um, the coping mechanisms that they need, they've acknowledged that that's something that they want more of and to be able to have an impact on the campus in that way. So this, um, this extension of the Pulse Club will give them the opportunity to do that. So what we're looking for are student ambassadors, really uh, to step up and, and serve their um, campus community and, and be a real leader when it comes to being good listeners, being good helpers, helping students find resources they may need um, you know, to make it through the school year. The second new class is the Principles of Computer Science, which is a coding and basic principles class. This course truly is uh, just a, a one course opportunity for these students. So one of the things we would like to emphasize for students who are looking at being a STEM major in college, so anybody who's looking, you know, computer science, engineering, mathematics, this is not, not probably the best choice for a class because it's not preparing you for those future levels of computer science. And if you'd really like to learn how to code, you need to take the, the AP computer science course that's been offered on our campus for many years. But if you just want to learn what coding is, then this is more of the class for you. Both classes can be found on HACS course registration page and can be added to a student's schedule for next year. Reporting for WTV, I'm Bryn Slakis. It's that time of year again for competition and audition season. WTV's Lewis Staten has the details. Band and orchestra students are rehearsing for their upcoming UIL competition on February 24th at Plano East High School. We need a lot of time to practice because we're, we're playing a lot of hard songs and a lot of our songs have a lot of different moving parts. So we kind of need the time to become cohesive and a lot of our songs are really fast. So we need time to just practice and get down the muscle memory of the songs. For freshmen and students who have recently gone into varsity band or orchestra, this is their very first time playing in a full orchestra. As soon as we got back from break, we had like seven in the morning, like you have to get up. Uh, it is my first year doing UIL as a full orchestra, and I think it's pretty great. I mean, I've had a lot of fun with it, and I think it's just the band adds a new dynamic that we can't get on our own. This is WTV's Lewis Dayton. On this week's edition of Finish the Lyrics, WTV's Trini Williams tests students' knowledge on nursery rhymes. finished the lyrics and today we'll be hitting the halls to ask students about nursery rhymes. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. How I wonder what you are. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb all, all through the town. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. All down the street. All through. Down came the rain. <laughs> Down came the rain. This is Trinity Williams for WTV.
On February 1st, WTV launched the annual Red Hawk Romance 14 Days of Love, which takes a look at relationships on campus. Today's installment features couple Micaiah Abi and Andrea Leva Montiel. Oh gosh. Well, for me, it was really special because I took him to one of my family like functions and we're very like traditional people. So um that was kind of the time that he like broke into the whole like I don't know, traditional side of me. And it was it was interesting to have him experience, you know, like all of our customs and um it was fun. Yeah. For the rest of today's installment and the whole catalog of Red Hawk Romance, check out LibertyWingspan.com. WTV's Walker Shippey gives you a recap of basketball and soccer on today's Sports Minute. Girls and boys soccer played last night versus Centennial. The boys team fell to the Titans 2-1. The girls team came out with a win 5-2. Both teams play again on Friday versus Lone Star. Girls and boys basketball also matched up against Centennial last night. After a hard-fought four quarters, the boys team fell to the Titans 56-40. On the contrary, the girls team came out with a win 30-22. Both teams play again on Friday versus Wakeland. For WTV Sports, this is Walker Shippey. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. All students are welcome to join FCCLA this week in Adulting 101 lessons during advisory. Today's lessons are understanding medical bills and health insurance in E104 and skills for a healthy dating relationship for couples or anyone who might be in a relationship in the future in E105. The next NHS meeting is today in the auditorium during advisory. Applications for the 2020-2021 Red Rhythm Dance Team are now open. If interested, please attend the required parent and candidate tryout meeting on Wednesday, February 5th in the library from 6 to 7 p.m. If you are interested in participating in 14 Days of Love, visit bit.ly slash 2RU2D7U. CS Club is holding a coding competition on February 16th. You may compete with a team of up to three members. You will have to bring your own laptop. The competition will have three divisions, beginner, novice, and advanced. You can come to the meetings in C-136 during advisories on Thursdays for more details, or contact the officers using Remind by texting at LHSCSCL to 81010. February is National CTE Month. Courses in the CTE department provide students with courses that promote creativity, collaboration, and communication. Coursework is relevant and engaging with focus on 21st century skills. Anyone interested in trying out for cheer must attend the parent informational meeting with a parent on February 18th at 6 in the LHS Auditorium. Applications are online and can be found on the LHS homepage. The POW Student Ambassador course application is now open. Upcoming juniors and seniors are invited to apply for this prestigious program. Applications are due by February 13th at 4.30 p.m. Please see the counseling office with any questions. The link to the application is bit.ly slash pals2020. Key Club is selling carnations for Valentine's Day during all lunches. Buy a carnation for $1 for a special someone. All proceeds will be donated to the American Cancer Society. That's it for today's daily update. This is Cooper Rakel for Wingspan TV.